scary. Really? Thank you. I am Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Excuse me, are you here as a leader? Yes, I, I think so. I'm Lauren Fisher. Lauren, yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Robert, the Small Groups Ministries Administrator. Hi. So, I understand this is your maiden voyage as a small group leader. Yes. Well, we thought we'd put you as leader of a group of those not yet connected to a small group. Oh, okay. And then later on, of course, you'll have your own group. So, what do I do this weekend? It's not really involved. After the plenary sessions, we'll break into small groups and you'll facilitate those discussions. Okay. Do you have a guide of some sort? I wish I could say yes, but the box of leader guides didn't make it. Oh. I'm sorry. So, do I just make questions up? Well, the speakers are very good, and I think their messages will create a lot of good discussion. And there'll just be a small group of women? Well, about 15 or 20. All at one time? I hope that's not going to be a problem. No. No, no, that's fine. Well, we're going to gather as leaders right over here in just a minute and pray before we kick off our weekend together. Okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, Lauren. How's it going? Hi, Elena. Thanks for meeting with me. No problem. What's up? I just need to talk with you. I, I think there's something wrong with Network, or there's something wrong with me. I don't know. I I'm very confused. Why? What happened? When I completed Network, I thought I'd be really good ministering in small groups. Well, after the retreat, I realized I'm not. In fact, I don't even know if I like people. Oh, Lauren. I had 24 in my small group. I didn't have anything to follow, no guide, no questions. And they just sat there staring at me, looking for me to lead them. Okay, hold on. You're the leader of small group ministries. You've got to get me out of this. <laughs> Lauren, relax. This is okay. Now let's back up. When we talked a few months back, we agreed that small groups was a place that looked like a good fit. 24 is not a small group. It's a mob. You're right. 24 is a large group. But remember, the course is intended to give you a general direction as to where to begin serving. It's only a starting point. Well, I've come to a complete stop. Plus, there, there was nothing for me to, to hold on to or read. You were left without anyone or anything to help you. Yes, it was awful. Okay. Do you think you would have been okay if there had been some discussion questions to guide you? I, I do like paper and ideas. Okay, that's good. Preparation is important to you. Yes, otherwise my mind tends to go blank. Okay, let's rethink this because again, Lauren, this is a process of finding where your passion lies. We think it may be somewhere in the ministry of small groups. So what if you tried this again and met with a truly small group? Define small. Maybe five or six women? What do you think? That would probably be okay. A small group of six women with a, a guide to assist you in leading the discussion. That sounds better. Good. Now, You've been attending the Saturday morning Bible studies at church. Why don't you try your hand at leading one? It's a safe group, you know all the women, and you might even tell them you're kind of testing the waters a bit. What do you think? Well, I suppose I could give it a try. Good. Then give it some time because you've never done anything like this before. And trust God to guide you. Okay. I think I can do that, because I do have a heart for women. I know you do. Just not a gaggle of them. <laughs> Robert said you did wonderfully well. So, how's things going with your son? I don't know. I, I just can't seem to reach him. Any chance to talk with him at all? When I can catch him going from the car to his room. There are times when my heart just breaks and I just don't know what to do about it. I've been there. It's mm -hmm. so hard. Yeah. What about Mark? Is he any help? Still working late. I can't get his help with this at all. Did you call that support group? 
I called. I just, I don't know. I, I guess I'm still in denial. It takes courage to call. You guys look like you're in a deep discussion. <laughs> As always. <laughs> hey, what are you guys up to? We're just comparing notes in our small groups. How's it going? Here, sit down. You sure it's okay? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. So, how are your groups going? Well, my group started out with about ten guys, but now we're down to six, so. And I've got three couples, and so far they're going pretty strong. It's just hard to get guys to commit. How about you, Lauren? You've been at this for what, several months now? Seven months, three weeks, and two hours, <laughs> but who's counting? Wow. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, keeping track like that? I don't know. I'm still struggling to make this fit. I have a hard time getting geared up to lead these women. Well, do you think it's the women? Well, no offense, Christina. <laughs> no, oh no, I love these women. They're so precious to me. So where's the hang-up? The whole group thing, I guess. Plus, I don't know if I'm doing any good. Are you kidding? I love our times together. What times? These times. When you call me up and say, let's go grab some coffee and talk. I go home and, and I'm encouraged and I'm ready to face my crazy family again. Yeah, I love getting together with these women. One-on-one? -on -one? That's my favorite part. I guess I do the Bible study in order to have an excuse to get together with them separately. You meet individually with each of the women in your group. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. Me neither. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't even know what to say. Oh my gosh, I find myself thinking of these women and praying for them all the time. Well, maybe that's your thing. What? Well, meeting one-on-one, -on -one, doing the, the mentoring thing. Hmm. Yeah, Lauren, you are definitely more relaxed and engaged when we're talking together versus in the group. Huh, do you think I can do the mentoring thing without having to do the Bible study? I don't see why not. Is there such a ministry? If not, there's about to be, and I'm signing up with you first. Okay. I like this. I like this idea a lot. Well, now that you have your life figured out, can you do something about him? <laughs> I don't like to work with hopeless cases. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're doing, right? Yeah.